Attorney General Faris al Rawi says statistics show the amendments to the anti gang bill are necessary and are needed to improve law enforcement in Trinidad and Tobago. As debate on the bill continued in the upper house on Tuesday with the use of figures provided by the police commissioner, the Attorney General explained how improvements to the bill over time have yielded results. In 2018, the commissioner reported that there were 211 gang members comprising some 2,400 gang members. And in 2020, the commissioner of police was able to demonstrate a drop from 211 gangs to 129. That's a 39% drop in gangs. Meanwhile, opposition senator Jayanti Lachmidial said there are several clauses of the bill which are concerning. She explained that the existing 2018 bill allows for police officers to have extraordinary powers, which she believes can result in the arrest of innocent people. Related offenses. And people always say, you know, when the police come and they find a little bit of drugs on the premises, it's every man, woman, child, dog, and cat that gets taken down to the police station. Well, Madam President, that is what is going to happen here.